Mike Snow. I'm going to bring the next guy up right away. He's been killing it all over town. You guys are going to love him as much as we do. Mr. Mark Wheeler. I'm to start by saying I'm offended. He didn't wear the Blake Wheeler jersey. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Actually, I got a question to start everything off. Um, am I the only one who thinks it's cruel that the police transport their prisoners in a Ford Escape? <laughs> <laughs> what I'd actually like to talk about are movies. I'm a huge movie fan. Any other movie fans in the audience? <laughs> oh good, this won't be a lot of five minutes. Um, but I don't, I don't think of movies in a, in a normal sense. I like to think of things like uh, who was cast in them, who was supposed to be cast, things like that. Like, um, in The Lord of the Rings, Sean Connery was supposed to be Gandalf. And I think that would have made for a better movie, right? I mean, you picture it, because it would be, it's Sh Frodo. Get your little Oxo with you. What I've got is this piece of costume jewelry that I'd like you to throw into a volcano. And after thinking about who was supposed to be cast, I was thinking about who shouldn't have been cast. and and who shouldn't be in certain movies. And it, it turned out to things like, um, you know, Christopher Lloyd as Dirty Harry. That, that's a movie that should never happen, because it's that, um, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Go ahead, make my day. <laughs> and I think Mike, Michael Caine and Shakespeare would be great. As Hamlet, fantastic, right? You know? Because it would be, it's the, it's a, I do believe that there is something rotten in the state of Denmark. And as we all know, I ain't the Dutch. Oh, an Austin Powers reference that everybody got. Um, the one that I love at the moment, though, is I'm thinking, that's going to fall off. I'm thinking Al Pacino in The Princess Bride. I mean, it would have made it a darker movie. <laughs> but I mean, you're looking at... Who are you? My name is Inigo Montoya. <laughs> you killed my father. So say hello to my little friend. <laughs> and then you go, thank you. And then you go from people who, who shouldn't be cast in the movies, and I was thinking about things like... Um, if they weren't actors, what would they be doing? Because not everybody can be a star, and something, you know, things happen. And what kind of jobs would they have if they could be dull normals like us? And I originally went to Christopher Walken, because of course. And personally, I think, I think Walken could do anything. Because it would just be a blast to listen to. And not just anything, I think he should be a narrator for audiobooks. And very specific set of books, right? I'm talking children's books. So, I mean, you can hear it. It's that, whoa, I am Sam. Sam, I am. And I am not like Green Eggs and Hat. I will not eat them. With socks. But wait, <laughs> what kind of parents lets their kid have spoiled meat? <laughs> and everything that he, he would take a five minute story and turn it into a 14 hour epic with all the tangents and the sides that he would do. And, and I mean, after dealing with that, I would think Liam Neeson would be perfect for customer service. <laughs> because you'd call it up, you'd call it up, right? I'll have a very particular set of skills. And if you don't follow my instructions to the letter, I will find you. And I will kill you. So I've got just one question, and I want you to think very carefully before you answer it. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? <laughs> Maybe 
think? Um, I was thinking, what would Barney the dinosaur have been doing? But the guy, the, the, the bastard in the suit beat me to it because what he did was funnier than anything I could have ever done. Um, for real, Barney the dinosaur is a tantric sex guru. <laughs> Look it up. And, but I mean, it adds a whole new meaning to what he did, right? Because it's that, I love you. <laughs> you love me. Let's all try position 40. <laughs> 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 